Getting to invite everybody into this show that was like, you know, a thing that we did a year ago in Atlanta during COVID. So it was like, I don't know, it's just nice to get to share it with the group, with the community. It doesn't take itself seriously and then it takes certain things very seriously. And I, and I really love that combo. I think she'll be relatable because she's just incredibly uh, flawed and uh, bad at being a hero and like doesn't doesn't it doesn't fit her very well you know but she's kind of thrust into this spotlight in a way that she struggles with and I think any human struggle is is compelling to watch so I think people will relate to her in that in that sense it's just so amazing I mean you know as composers we're kind of locked away in our uh, room by ourselves for a whole year and you know about it's been about a year I've been on it so uh, it's kind of crazy sometimes because you forget or I forget that eventually the world will see the work you know and you kind of forget that it exists outside of my computer and outside of my own head and ears so this is just totally surreal it's been so fun and, and the whole team has just been really really open to trying new ideas um, which is like you know a really exciting way to work and it, the collaboration um, I think, you know, once we kind of locked in the tone of the show and kind of found the sound of the show, we worked back and forth on it quite a bit. And once that was kind of locked in, it's just been smooth sailing and it's been so fun. Oh my God, it's so nice I could cry. I think we're all just like, oh, you know, we've been working on this for forever. It's all been so adrenaline filled. It's really fun for us. I love that they have music for us today because our cast in particular is like always dancing on set, no matter how tired we are. So it's just nice. Like we all miss seeing each other. I constantly say that this show is 
was hilariously human. Like, it is embarrassing being a human being. Everything we do, like dating, all of that stuff, it's so flawed and embarrassing. So we kind of get to laugh at it through Jen Walters and then also when she's She-Hulk. So um, it's really fun. And uh, I think everyone understands the legal system. And so it's fun to think about superhumans having to be represented by attorneys and our team, me as a paralegal, Tatiana and Josh. So I, I think that's like a weird, fun, relatable thing that's in our culture. But now we get to see it in a really funny, silly, magical way. This is my first um, Hollywood moment premiere like this with fans back there. That was pulling up. I got like a little heart. My heart started beating and pounding. My dragon ring was shaking. I was like, oh, OK, we're doing this. Um, so it's super exciting. And I feel like Marvel is for the fans. So for there to be fans feels right. It's funny. It's a comedy. I feel like we need some laughing these days in the world. We need some. And I just honestly, I feel like there's always the heart. Marvel always grabs the heart of, of humanity. But we are leaning hard into the comedy. And I happen to be one of those people. It's just amazing to be here on this road, surrounded by this many fans is very, very, very surreal. And I don't take it lightly because I am an MCU fan, a massive, massive Marvel fan, both the comics and the films. And so I feel as though when I'm at these things, I'm really with my people. It's really fun. I'm very anxious to see how people feel about it because we've gone so left field from what Marvel has done before. And the fact that this is a story told from a woman's point of view by women on both sides of the camera means it's very, very authentic. And we don't pull any punches and we tell the truth in this show. One of my favorite things about the show is that She-Hulk is a reluctant hero. And I don't think we ever get to really see that. This is a woman who's really fighting against that responsibility and attention. And she just is good in spite of herself. It was really important to us that we made her feel like a real person, first and foremost. You know, she's not just any one thing. She's not just a badass. You know, she's got... She's got really, she's got thoughts and opinions. She's had life experience. She has highs and lows and strengths and weaknesses. And there are times when she's confident and times when she's embarrassed and times when she has anxiety. Like we really tried to ground her so that she really felt like somebody you would know or maybe just yourself. This really feels familiar to me because I come from TV comedy, you know, but it's completely uncharted territory for Marvel, which is always really nice being able to kind of, you know, I feel like there was kind of a mutual pushing into uncharted territory on both sides. This is truly a dream come true. Um, I've never been on such a purple carpet before. It feels really special, um, but it really is just an absolute boon for for me and and honestly for everyone here i think that this show is going to make a lot of people happy unlike other superheroes she hulk doesn't get her abilities until she's in her mid 30s um and so i think it really adds this level of like a woman trying to just get through the world and that's so relatable and she, Tatiana is so amazing. People are just going to fall in love with her. Marvel has created such an amazing uh, uh, fan base, and it's only growing. And I think this show is only going to make it even bigger. I think it's going to really speak to an audience that we haven't really been able to hit in the Marvel world yet, which is a female-driven comedy. That's a first. I hope the fans love Pug, you know, and, uh, and they get to love all of the She-Hulk crew, you know, like wait till you see this office. I think everyone's going to be hilarious. I think the opportunity to see who in this universe needs some legal help is a pretty fun journey to go on. Because you can imagine, you know, if you destroy an entire city and its infrastructure, you might need a lawyer. So I think that's where we get to come in and uh, bring some humor along the way. This is ye the culmination of years of work and I could not be more excited. And seeing all the fans lined up on Hollywood Bo Boulevard is just the most thrilling thing. It's what Marvel is really all about. Well, Wendy Jacobson is such a visionary and she is the kind of unsung hero of this show because she hired all of us. And it was really her vision to see this um, show through the female lens. And I'm just so grateful that she was in charge of it all and that she brought me along for the ride. I love everything that Marvel makes. And so to me, my job was really about like bringing something that had a fresh comedic take, but making sure it slotted right into the MCU. And um, I think I'm just most excited about people seeing the dynamics, which unlike most big Marvel projects are very simple and human and relatable. 
I feel like we talk a lot about the, what Disney Plus has enabled us to do at Marvel Studios is to bring all sorts of different types of shows to the screen. N no show sort of embodies that more than She-Hulk Attorney at Law. Even that title, She-Hulk Attorney at Law. This is a lawyer, legal, comedy, very much in the, uh, in the tonal, uh, taking tonal inspiration from Dan Slott's famous run of She-Hulk comics and going back to John Byrne's amazing fourth wall breaking run of She-Hulk and, and using all, all of that to hopefully bring something to Disney Plus that people haven't seen before, certainly not from Marvel Studios. Our actor Tatiana is so incredible and brings so much range to it and kind of set her career sights on being this lawyer and then became a Hulk but still wants to be this lawyer and kind of doesn't want to have it all. She just wants to keep focusing on a career and not this other thing that's happened to her because her cousin uh, happened to be in a car with her when she got into a, uh, a car accident. Um, and that's where a lot of the humor comes from and that's where a lot of the emotion comes from of this woman's story uh, that she doesn't, even the label of She-Hulk is something that we get into on the show, which I think is a lot of fun. It's really exciting and um, it's time for She-Hulk. And it was great to, uh, to be able to pass the baton, although she didn't need to pass the baton. She came with her own baton. And um, yeah, it's, it's been a lot of fun. It's so much fun to do. I mean, we have Kat um, Corio, who is our amazing um, director and had a vision for it. Um, then we had, it was an all female team. I, 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 I never worked on a movie um, or, or TV show that was all female. And it was, it was amazing. It feels surreal, really exciting. Everyone in this show is their own like magical character and real human being. And I'm just, I'm really honored to be here. I like how imaginative it is, like how different this show is than anything else in the Marvel Universe. And I think people are gonna love it. I mean, it's a comedy, and it's, you know, some of our favorite characters. I can't wait to see the show. I have not seen anything. I've only heard really exciting things, and I know how it felt to do it. Um, but my favorite part always of a premiere is seeing other people's work. And this cast is tremendous, so I know I'm gonna be blown away. We all know powerful women. Uh, this powerful woman is quite surprised. <laughs> quite surprised about this turn of events and it's fun to watch her figure it out. Um, most importantly, on top of all of her strength, or I should say beneath all of her strength, she's vulnerable. And Tatiana is such a wonderful actress. It's, uh, it's really fun to figure out, to see her figure out how to navigate all of that. It's, it's really uh, top to bottom, women and men in this company, they're really good. I've been working on this show for a very long time, three years since I started at Marvel. Um, not actually shooting the show and stuff, but the development and reading the comics. And it's so crazy to think of how far we've come and all the ideas that we had for the show before we even hired Jessica writing it. And so happy with the finished product. And it's been an amazing labor of love and I can't wait to share it with the world. I feel very lucky to have the cast and crew that we have put together. And it's been very important from the beginning to have a lot of female voices on this show including the writer's room, where um, the majority of the writers were women. We were all sharing our stories about our families, our jobs, our dates. There's a lot of inspiration for bad dates in this show. And, you know, I think that all carried over also into the hiring. We have two female directors, our production designer, our costume designer, our huge cast, you know, and I think it really lends itself to having all those voices go into the show and make it feel really authentic and I hope really relatable for audiences as well. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and comment on the video if you enjoyed it. Click and watch our suggested video playlists right now for more entertaining videos. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are released.